I'm Debbie Domino, which is a bit of a mouthful, as I can understand. Right, um, right. Because you're so famous in the, we've made up questions. Hopefully they're all right, but yeah, yeah. they're not. Um, right, um, because you're so famous in the USA, is this almost a luxury to be here in Birmingham, where the publicity isn't so overwhelming? That's one. Of the, that's one of the things I really enjoyed being over here. That uh, I can just walk to Morrison. Mm. Get my grocery, you know, work with my, my children without anybody recognizing. Mm. You just see a tall guy walking on the street. But yeah, yeah. So I really like that a lot. Well, a lot of guys are tall to me, as you can imagine, because I'm only five foot. So <laughs> everything, everything in my world is big. <laughs> we need to get an ultimate photograph after this of sure, you looking no, down no, at me. No problem. No, no. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, after concentrating on Birmingham and inner cities, are there any plans to go to sort of Solihull or any of the outer areas, or are you going to stay where you are right now um, with the basketball? Well, I think the, the, with the club, you know, COB, uh, more like focusing to build that, you know, to make it more of a, oh. a complete by introducing the sixth form. Yeah, you know. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I think we focus more on the All right, okay. So, um, right. Oh, that might be a question for Rob for his vision, maybe. Was it a tricky process for Rob to get you to join this, or did you just jump in with both arms and go, yes? Of, of course, it's so natural that uh, uh, to come and once I met with uh, Rob the first time and I see uh, what, they, what they've already established. And uh, basketball for me is just natural. So yeah. Mm. It, was, it was a very easy sell. Yeah, yeah. well, there you go. <laughs> so that's lovely. Oh. Anyway, um, right. I personally work um, in an inner city school. I'm a teaching assistant. And I find that the disruptive children in the class, when I take them out and we just throw a ball around, it calms them down quite a lot. Have you had um, many children from diverse backgrounds that you've You've sort of changed personality in a way. I've sort of calmed down, become more confident. Or yes, uh, that would be a question of, not more for Rob because it's more in hands on day to day. Yeah. But generally, sports, you know, that's very, very positive to, to get children away from the streets mm -hmm. and start doing something positive and, uh, you know, introducing how to work on a team concept as a group. Courage, you know, so it's very positive for people's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And most of the government, most of the government, especially in the US, they spend a lot of money to create these kind of courts in inner cities mm -hmm. just to keep the kids off the streets. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we have a lot of, well, you've probably seen on the news, you know, but probably right. sort of. Um, um, Right, do you find that Birmingham or English children are more eager to learn um, basketball skills than probably US children? Because for us, it's not as... In the US, it's almost like us watching football every Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Whereas here, it's not as... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, that's, that's popular. That's popular, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So do you find that we're... The, the, the most of the children that, that play basketball, you know, they watch uh, NBA basketball, so they already have a, you know, a, a interest. So it's more like an opportunity for them to play the game that they really love. Mm. You know, so most of them they play football, but once they play basketball, they, they lean towards playing basketball more than playing soccer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think if somebody had made the choice, I'd go for basketball. I would. I'm not tall enough, but I would. Really? <laughs> right, um, okay. Um, right, do, you, if you hadn't become a basketball player, Me? Yeah, and all this hadn't happened, all this fantastic stuff that's happened to you in your life, did you have a plan B, another job in mind, or was it, was it always just going to be basketball? Or? You know, um, I went to the University of Houston. Uh, I was a business major. Mm -hmm. But knowing that uh, basketball career, that's my pr primary focus. But with the college graduate as a business major, you know, oh, yeah. I, love, I love architecture, I love design. Oh, right, yeah. so that would be, oh, right. So either way, you would have had a good life. I don't know, but the other <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Right, I am going to hand you over to. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's like, you know, quite... quite <laughs> to do with the world, yeah. I'm going to ask Rob a question there. See, I'm making okay, you laugh now, Rob. I do want to do it. I'm a hero. Well, yeah. anyway, I okay. don't get oh, many men on the sofa with me, so right. why not? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, right, I'll, I'll just ask you the question that I've just asked um, Akeem. I've just said, personally, I work with um, like inner city children who have a lot of um, problems and can be quite aggressive in the classroom mm. situation. So, do you find that this helps them focus and it gives them more confidence and more... Um, Absolutely. We've, we've been... This is 15 years now that we've been doing this. Really? Yeah, so the amount of, I guess for kids, sport can give them a, a, a real kind of discipline to channel their energy effectively. Uh -huh. um, and basketball, one of the great things about basketball is very, it's a fashionable sport for the young people. As you can see down there, very diverse, so uh -huh. it's a worldwide sport, um, and especially with the, I guess the, the cultural an ethnic breakdown of Birmingham now. Yeah, and yeah. Families coming in, they have a, a pedigree and background of playing basketball maybe in their home lands mm -hmm. and, and they want to play when they get here. But So there's already a, a, a kind of a, a family history which we've never had in the past. Mm. We've always struggled. Most of our kids go to, to football or cricket or rugby as an automatic choice. Um, but what, what, we, we, what we find now is that the amount of kids we get that maybe are challenged in the classroom from behavioural yeah. situations when they come into a basketball environment, for some, for some good reason for us, and, and the environment has to be set right, uh, discipline-wise, we're able to address that because you will have a kid that's maybe coming from out in Soldier Hall, oh. and another child that may be coming from Hansworth or Neitchels or inner city Birmingham, um, and they're treated exactly the same, the rules are the same for them. They probably wouldn't engage with each other in a normal day-to-day -day oh. life. No. Yeah. But the basketball court's just a great leveller for them. The yeah. ball's the ball, and the ball is a the ball is a global friend for everybody. So no matter where you come from, you can share Cause and make child, friends. Because I've got a child that. I work with, and I've, actually we clipped really well, and we've got on really well. But he starts kicking off in class, and I've had chairs thrown at me and all sorts. But you know, as soon as I say to him, "Let's go and get a football," "Let's go and get a ball," "Let's go and get a tennis racket," he goes right down. Part of, part of our programme here is is that we try to engage and liaise with the schools as much as possible to ensure that, that, that we work hand in hand. So, you know, if, if you are misbehaving at school or your attainment or achievement levels aren't where they need to be, then we'll work with them to ensure that's taken care of. So mm. we used to we run a peer mentoring programme here so kids can come in and maybe if there's another kid in their team that's good at maths and they're struggling with that, they'll help them with their homework. Mm. But we, we do make sure education comes before the sport. It's a little bit of a carrot and a, a, a carrot and situation for a dung and carrot that um, if your education and, and is up to scratch, then you get the privilege of doing your basketball. Oh. And, oh. and you can use a lot of our kids will use will use basketball um, to try and further their educational yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. achievements. Right.